Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian Federation and Endurance Races, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the President of the Bahrain Royal Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the National Days Championship of the 11th Purebred Arabian Horses was launched at the Rashid Equestrian Club and Horse Racing in Rifa, which is organised by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the National Day Championship for purebred Arabian horses reflects the high status of the Kingdom of Bahrain in equestrian sports and the great care the sport receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser indicated that the championship coincides with the Kingdom's celebrations of the National Day and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, which is the Royal Equestrian Federation are keen to organise them in the best form. His Highness also noted that the wide participation of owners and stables affirms the increase of purebred horse production and the development of this ancient sport that witnesses an exciting competition. His Highness Sheikh Nas expressed his appreciation for the outstanding efforts made by the Royal Federation and all committees and referees for their keenness to organise an ideal tournament, wishing every success to all the participants. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, inspected the Khalifa City Health Centre as part of His Highness's keenness on offering the best possible facilities and services to the people of the Governorate. His Highness was briefed on the project by the General Director of Construction at the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Marim Abdullah Amin. His Highness affirmed that the follow-up process is ongoing to ensure the great development projects and the improvement of the services is ex executed in the best possible manner for the people. He expressed appreciation for the ongoing coordination with the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning and the Ministry of Health in executing this project in the Governorate. The visit concluded with His Highness meeting the members of the community to listen to their input on all levels, be they related to security, services or development. His Highness said that such visits reflect the deep-rooted social connections with the community. It is worth noting that the visit took all the necessary health precautions in light of the exceptional circumstances that have been imposed by the pandemic. The Minister of Education, Dr Majid bin Ali al Nawemi, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has succeeded in integrating the various categories of disabilities in public schools after providing all the requirements that take into account the health conditions which contributed to the Kingdom obtaining many certificates and advanced ranks in reports of education for all issued by international organisations such as UNESCO. In a statement on the occasion of International Day of Persons with Disabilities, Minister al Nawemi confirmed that the Ministry of Education schools currently include 946 students with disabilities who continue to receive the appropriate educational service in light of the current health conditions to ensure that their educational programmes do not falter during this pandemic period. The Minister indicated that expansion is continuing to accommodate this group of students as two classes were opened for people with autism disorders in the current academic year, bringing the number of schools designated for the integration to 21 primary and preparatory schools. The Minister explained that the mechanism used to deal with these students during the pandemic period is based on electronic lessons designed according to standards that take into account the students' abilities and health conditions 
and following up on his students through special education teachers, as well as setting standards for appropriate educational evaluation for them in light of the current health situation. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziyani met Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Brotherly Republic of Iraq, Fouad Hussein, who arrived here today to participate in the 16th Manama Dialogue. Dr Al Ziyani welcomed the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Iraq, expressing his pride in and appreciation of the path of bilateral relations existing between Bahrain and Iraq, praising the development and growth of these relations in various fields. He also wished Iraq and its people security, stability and prosperity. Deputy Prime Minister Fouad Hussein affirmed the depth of relations between Bahrain and Iraq, praising the vital role played by Iran to establish security and stability in the region. He stressed the keenness of Iraq to develop cooperation with Bahrain in various fields. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. They discussed the cooperation existing between both countries and ways to enhance it in various fields to serve the common interests of both countries and people, in addition to developments in regional situation and issues of common interest. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziyani today met his Republic of Korea counterpart Kang Kung Wa on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue. The two sides discussed the close friendship and cooperation relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Korea, stressing the need to develop these relations. They also reviewed a number of issues of common interest. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziyani met today the National Security Advisor in the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, Dr Hamdala Muheb, on the sidelines of the 16th session of the Manama Dialogue Conference. During the meeting, they reviewed bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan and ways to develop joint cooperation between the two countries at all levels to serve the common interests and discussed a number of issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Director of the Department of African Asian Affairs, Ambassador Muna Abbas Radi. On the Afghan side, it was attended by the accompanying delegation of the National Security Advisor. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziyani today met the President of the International Committee of the Red Cross, the ICRC, Peter Marot, on the sidelines of the 16th Manama Dialogue. They reviewed the efforts made by the International Committee of the Red Cross and the aid it provides to various afflicted people in the world and emphasised Bahrain's interest to continue to cooperate with the committee to serve the goals of humanitarian and relief work. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Director of Organisations Ambassador Fatima Abdullah Al Dahidin. Bahrain Bourse announced the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding with the Israeli Diamond Exchange to find the topics of common interest and cooperation fields between the two bourses. The memorandum was signed between the Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Bourse, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the president of this really diamond exchange, Uram Dvash. For his part, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim expressed pleasure in signing the memorandum and aspiration for establishing constructive relations with this really diamond exchange. He also expressed hope that the memorandum contribute to expanding means of cooperation in joint initiatives. The president of this really diamond exchange expressed aspiration to increase communication and dialogue with the Bahrain Bourse and to exchange ideas and information as well as commercial cooperation activities. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACE President Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa has embarked on a tour to meet leading officials after her nomination for the post of World Tourism Organization, UNWTO Secretary General. She met in Cairo Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abdul Gait and Egyptian Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, Dr Khaled al -Anani. The Kingdom of Bahrain has nominated BACA President Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa for the post of UNWTO Secretary General in recognition of her achievements in the sector of sustainable tourism and her pivotal role in promoting cultural tourism. 
Sheikha May has outlined her vision and strategy, which consists of seven axes to advance the vital sector globally, with a focus on activating its role in achieving development and reaching the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Speaker of the Egyptian Parliament, Professor Dr Ali Abdel Al, received the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel bin Abdurrahman Al Asumi, at the Council of Representatives headquarters in Cairo. At the beginning of the meeting, Dr Ali Abdel Al renewed his congratulations to Adel Al Asumi on the occasion of his election as Speaker of the Arab Parliament, adding that this election is acclaimed, confirms his competencies as distinguished experiences enjoyed by the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain to assume various responsibilities in high international positions and is one of the outputs of the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who established Bahrain's position of all Arab, regional and international levels. The Egyptian Speaker of Parliament appreciated the role of the Arab Parliament plays in championing Arab causes and defending the interests of the Arab people stressing that the current priority of this difficult phase in the Arab nation is going through as must to strengthen the economic cooperation between Arab countries and activate joint Arab active institutions. For his part, the President of the Arab Parliament reviewed the main features of the new action plan for the Arab Parliament, pointing to the establishment of a Centre for Arab Parliamentary Diplomacy in the Arab Parliament within the framework of the Parliament's orientation towards activating a role of parliamentary diplomacy in the service of Arab nations' issues. Works Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning Minister Isam bin Abdullah Khalif and Health Minister Faker bin Said Al Saleh have paid an inspection visit to the medical complex in Maharak. They were informed about the progress of the Maharak Healthcare Centre and the Multiple Sclerosis Care Centre projects, both implemented by the Works Ministry for the Health Ministry, based on the directors of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to meet the needs of the citizens and upgrade the health services in the Kingdom. Minister Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf expressed the Works Ministry's pride in contributing development projects, especially those that directly serve the Bahraini citizens. He also reiterated support for the Health Ministry's efforts, programmes and strategic plans aimed at meeting the citizens' needs for receiving treatment and health care. Minister Asali said that the Kingdom's health sector is making major strides as reflected in the provision of comprehensive health care, raising the level of health awareness and promoting fairness in the distribution of health services, noting that the Health Ministry is determined to continue providing health care facilities and specialised health personnel to accommodate the needs in this sector. The two ministers were informed about the progress of the Maharak Health Care Centre through a detailed presentation about the project and its implementation phases. The ministers were also informed about the implementation phases of the Multiple Sclerosis MS Care Centre in Maharak Medical Complex, which is the first of its kind in the Arabian Gulf region. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,493, with 135 recoveries, 162 registered new cases. 79 of the registered cases are expatriates, 75 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. 12 are critical cases while 21 are receiving treatment. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.